life kids my name is mrs freya i'm so glad that you're here joining us this week in our new series the miracle of jesus in this series we're going to learn about all the miracles jesus did during his time here on earth and we've learned that miracles can only be performed through god's power so to help us better understand our lesson for today i want to invite everybody if you have your bible if you can open it up in Psalms 77, 14. And it says there, you are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among nations. So before we go on more on our lesson, I wanna invite everybody, why don't we all stand up and let's sing worship to Jesus this morning. Are you ready? Cause I'm ready. Come on, let's do this. That was a great worship song. Now we're going to watch a video about the miracle of Jesus. Come on, let's check it out. Stories of the Bible. Jesus turns water into wine. This is Jesus. hey Who is the son of God and the savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth where he grew in wisdom and favor with God oh, I see. and man. One day, Jesus, his disciples, and his mother went to a wedding in Cana. In the middle of the party, the wine ran out. Uh oh. So Jesus' mother, Mary, told him, they have no more wine. Aww. Jesus replied, dear woman, that's not our problem. My time has not yet come. Excuse me. But Mary told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars. The Jews used jars like these in their washing ceremony. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. Yeah, okay. When the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants did what Jesus told them to. 
when the master of ceremonies tasted the water that was now wine, not knowing where it had come from, though of course the servants knew, he called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, then when everyone has had a lot to drink, he brings out the less expensive wine, but you have kept the best until now. This miraculous sign in Cana in Galilee was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Welcome back, boys and girls. I hope you had a great time watching our Bible story for today. In today's Bible story, we're going to learn about the first miracle Jesus did during his time here on earth. And in this story, Jesus, his disciple, and even his mother Mary were all invited at a wedding party. Everybody is having a great time at the party until the host of the party had a problem. And the problem was the wedding run out of wine. And at that time, if you are hosting a wedding and you run out of wine, it is not good. It's like hosting your own birthday party and you run out of a birthday cake. Imagine how are you going to feel about it? I bet you're going to feel embarrassed, right? When they had a problem, Mary knew what exactly she needed to do. She went to Jesus and asked Jesus to turn the water into wine. At first, Jesus doesn't want to do it. It's not that he cannot do it. He can do it actually because he is God. He is Jesus. He can do anything. But he felt that this is not the time yet for him to reveal himself to the people. He doesn't want the people yet to know that he is God. But because Mary asked him to do it, so he decided that he will do and perform a miracle. So Jesus told the workers of the party to get the six stone water jars and fill it with water. Once you fill it with water, Jesus asked them to give it to the host of the party. The workers of the party did exactly what Jesus told them to do. So they brought the water jars filled with water to the host and the host took it. And what he, what the host did is he poured the water into the glass. And then to their surprise, the water turned into wine. Isn't that amazing? How could it be a water and turn into wine? And you know what the host of the party did? He tasted it and he said, this is the best wine ever. And everybody was amazed. And at that time, they believed that Jesus is God. So in today's lesson, remember when they had a problem, Mary went to Jesus. Mary knew that Jesus is God. She knew that Jesus can fix the problem. Jesus has solutions for everything. And you boys and girls, probably some of you might have difficulty or you're having a problem at your home, at your school. I want you to know that like Mary, you can go to Jesus and you can tell him your problem. And Jesus can give you an answer and a solution for your problem. And not only that, you know what else Mary did? He told the workers of the party to do exactly what Jesus did. You know, you might not have a problem, but might but you may know some friends or your family members. It may be your brother, your sisters, or your uncle, your aunt that has a difficult situation at this time. You know what you can do? 
you can lead them to Jesus and tell them, you know what? There's nothing that Jesus cannot do. No matter how big the problem is, Jesus can help us. Jesus has a solution for whatever problem.